Welcome to GCSE Health and Social Care, which is one of your options in Year 9. This is a Cambridge National Level 2, so it's a GCSE equivalent. There is a new specification launching in September 22, which reduces the amount of assessment, which is a fantastic thing moving forward. The assessment overview, there are two controlled assessments that are each worth 30%. So 60% of your overall GCSE is assessed internally via coursework. There is then one written examination worth 40%. The exam can be taken twice and the best grade will go forward. This guarantees the best grade possible for you. We usually take the first exam in January of year 11 and then again in June of year 11. So there are three units and here is an outline of the topics. The RO32 unit is the external examination unit, and we look at principles of care in health and social care settings. This is a mandatory unit, which means anybody taking this GCSE across the country will take this examination. We look at the rights of service users. Service users are people who use the service. We look at how to effectively communicate in health and social care and we look at how we protect service users. The second unit is RO33, supporting individuals through life events. This is also a mandatory unit, so everybody must take it, but this is centre assessed coursework. There are three topic areas. We look at life stages from birth through to later adulthood. We look at the impact of life events and the sources of support available. Then RO35, is a unit that I select and it's health promotion campaigns. And just like RA33, it's worth 30%. The topics we cover are current public health issues and the impact on society. So for example, we might look at COVID. Factors influencing health and social care. Planning creates a health promotion campaign and then we deliver and evaluate a health promotion campaign. So a bit more of active learning in this coursework. Both coursework pieces are typed on computers and marked by me in draft form before you submit your final copy. So to reiterate, the assessment is 40% external exam and 60% internal exam broken down into two pieces of coursework. Many successes with health and social care. For over 15 years, it's been one of the highest achieving option subjects. It's consistently above the national average. The Cambridge National Health and Social Care course has been running here for about three years. And a highlight in 2021, 16% of the students entered achieved the very top grade of a distinction star and 56% achieved a distinction or above. This trend happens year on year. It's a very popular option subject and provides an alternative experience of learning through internally assessed coursework and it prepares you well for work within the health and social care sectors. There are many career opportunities from health and social care. At post 16, you could go on to do level three health and social care, A levels and sciences, or apprenticeships in early years or health and social care jobs. Many students do health and social care alongside the sciences because they really feel that they both will help them in careers in medical degrees, nursing degrees, physiotherapy, psychology, dentistry, there are a whole host of university degrees that stem from taking health and social care. Many career opportunities from midwif midwifery, paediatric nurse or doctor, psychologist, early years practitioner, a doctor, social worker, pharmacist, dentist, nurse, physiotherapist, amongst many more. This is a course for students who may want to consider a job within the health and social care or early year sector or perhaps are not sure what they want to do and want to keep their options open. And this provides a more practical based subject, which allows you to complete internal coursework and go on to do A-levels in post 16 linked to health and social care. If you have any questions, feel free to come and see me. I'm Ms Edmonds and I'm based in 2E01. You can come and take a look at our textbooks and our work. And I will always happily answer any questions on email as well. Thank you very much.